the, the function of the gross from the surface, which is called the oppositional gross. We have formation of the matrix, and it changes into chondrocytes, formation of the collagen type 2 in the matrix, and number 4, the gross from the surface, which is called the oppositional gross. Oppositional gross position, then we add AL, a positional gross. This is all about these cells, LM, EM, functions, site, and origin. After that, we have to comment on this cell. This cell is the chondrocyte, which is the mature cartilage cell. This cell is present in two forms. It may be in the form of this oval cell, present singly in its lacuna, or rounded, present in groups in their lacuna, or singly, singly, or in groups inside their lacuna. The, uh, the uh, chondrocytes, you may be asked about the following. First of all, what is this? the origin of this cell? The origin is the chondroplast. When the chondroplast surrounds itself by a huge amount of matrix and imprisoned in this matrix, it is now called a chondrocyte. This is as regards the origin. As regards the LM, as regards the LM, this cell is rounded or oval, oval at the periphery. And, and in this case, it is called young chondrocyte. And rounded in the center with central rounded nucleus, but the central rounded nucleus is darkly basophilic. And the cytoplasm is lightly basophilic, which is the reverse, for, for the reverse of the chondroplast. So, by the light microscope, it is a rounded cell with a central rounded nucleus, or it is an oval cell when it is present at the superficial part of the cartilage. It is an oval or flat cell with an oval nucleus inside the center. Uh, the uh, peripheral one, it is present singly in its lacuna, while the central one, they may be rounded or triangular. They are present usually in groups. Groups of two or groups of four or groups of eight as they divide. So, these are the group of two surrounded by a condensed matrix forming the capsule. Here, this is the capsule formed of condensed matrix, while this is the lacuna, the empty space, in which uh, the cells are present. The groups of cells present in one lacuna is called the cell nest or isogenous group. And actually, during the staining, some shrinkage takes place, giving you the uh, appearance of this empty space, which is the lacuna, but it is not present during life as the chondrocytes completely fill the lacuna. This as regards the light microscopic picture. As regards the electron microscopic picture, we have uh, the features also of protein forming, which are rough ER, Golgi apparatus, and mitochondria. Why? Because they are protein forming cells also. Here, the uh, cells also form a protein to maintain the cartilage matrix by continuous secretion of new matrix around them. In addition to that, we can see inside these cells, especially the old one, this is an example for an old one, and this is the nucleus, we can see here lipid droplets. Lipid droplets here stored in the old one, as well as the glycogen granules. 
and these two features represent or explain why they have a pale cytoplasm because of the dissolved glycogen and lipids so that the cytoplasm in the light microscope appears to be very pale or evacuated due to the dissolving of their content of glycogen and lipids. Uh, then we have here the, then we have here the matrix. This area which is called the matrix is condensed around the lacunae to form the capsule. So this uh, homogeneous basophilic area is called the matrix. Here you may be asked about the consistency of the matrix. This matrix is formed of proteoglycans and glycoproteins in addition to wood. So we have here, these are the components of the matrix. We have here proteoglycans and glyco proteins in addition to the water. Proteoglycans, it's a mixture between the protein and the carbohydrates. Glycoprotein, also it's a mixture between the carbohydrates and proteins, but the difference between them is the abundance of the carbohydrate in the first and the abundance of the protein in the second. Uh, very important to know the specific stain of this matrix. This matrix can be stained Meta-chromatically. Chromatically. What is the meaning of meta? means another color. Chroma is the color. So, when we apply a basophilic stain like toluidine blue on this matrix, instead of having the blue color, we have a new color which is the purple color, which is a character known or a feature known metachromatic stain. Why they are metachromatic steam? Because they have sulfated glycosamino glycans like chondroitin sulfate. Revise the connective tissue matrix, and you will find that uh, uh, one of the examples of the sulfated, that's to say, containing sulfur, one of the type of sulfated glycosamino glycans is uh, the chondroitin sulfate, which is uh, a very important component present in the matrix of the cartilage. Last thing to mention in this uh, slide is the fibers. Here, what is the type of the fibers present in this matrix? It is uh, collagen type 2. But why I am not seeing uh, these uh, fibers? Here it is the matrix, but I cannot see the fibers inside this matrix. Why? Because they have the same refractive endings as the surrounding matrix, so that I cannot distinguish these fibers. They have the same refractive endings as the matrix, so no differentiation take, can take place uh, when looking at this slide. But I can see these fibers after digestion of the matrix by enzymes. So by this, I can see the fibers alone. So what are the types of the fibers present in this matrix? The fibers are collagen type 2. Don't forget, collagen present in the perichondrium is of the type 1. Before leaving the slide of hyaline cartilage, you must remember the size. You may be asked to mention one or two sites in the data show exam. So, the sites are the following. The articular surface of the bones, where the joints are present, the articular surface of the bones is formed of hyaline cartilage. And remember, in this site, no perichondrium is present and the nourishment takes place by diffusion of nutrients from the synovial fluid. The second famous site is the the upper respiratory passages, nose, larynx, trachea, and bronchi. The third is the coastal cartilage, from which we have our glass slide in the lab. The, uh, uh, the, fifth one, the fourth one is the epiphyseal plate, where uh, ossification takes place, and also it is one of our glass slides. And the fifth one is the skeleton of the fetus. 
This picture is all.